Hey, what's up? Snell, welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today's video is brought to you by Caligari Records. And I've really dug this band since their demo. And I legit, like, legit apologize for not making it out to the Philly show with Flesh, uh, Flesh Rock. I was gonna grab my Flesh Rock tape and I remembered. Oh yeah, the full length's here because I was listening to it. But I'm so mad at myself. I got the dates confused and then I just I couldn't find the flyer. And I, it was just a mess. And the next thing you know, I'm babysitting and, and I couldn't go anyway. But, uh, I don't know what, it just, it happens. And I, I feel terrible about it. So, first, my apologies to Grotesqueries because Vile Crematory. Yo, as of right now, like, one of my favorite, and I don't know if they consider this an album or L or EP, I consider this, like, a, an LP, in my opinion. Quality-wise, I love the vocals. The riffs, the drums are fantastic. And, like, having two lead and rhythm guitar players allows so many possibilities where you're kind of handicapped sometimes when you're three-piece. I've been in that situation before where you go from a five-piece to, I meant to say, four-piece. But even a three-piece, like if I'm doing vocals, I, I can't play guitar and do vocals. I, I meant to say four-piece. Where I'm on vocals, but I can't play bass or guitar well enough to play the songs that I need to be playing. So, I always just respect when I see, like, oh, this band has, like, a full lineup. Two guitar players, bassist, vocalist, drummer. Now, I love when a band, you know, does vocals and s s plays guitar, bass, drums. I love when vocalists do drums, but sometimes you just need a front person. And grotesqueries. Again, I haven't seen them live, but Mike's vocals, Mike, I apologize if I butcher anyone in Grotesquerie's last names or names, period. But uh, we have Yanni Transistus on drums. Now I know this name, Brendan O'Hare. I don't know why, but I know that name. Lead and rhythm guitar. We might be friends on Instagram. My brain sucks. Connor Thompson on lead and rhythm guitar. John Rainus on bass guitar. And Mike Bunamo on vocals. And they are just absolutely fantastic. I could have said fan fucking fantastic. I'm over three minutes. Yeah, YouTube has been on my ass about the cursing, and it's ridiculous. Forever rotting, this channel will be. And I'm happy that the people that want to watch the channel watch it. Like, I love the cover art. Like, even the demo, like, the cover is just like sick like this is sick i should have got it out ahead of time it's like under a stack of tapes that i know 
if I grab it, I'm gonna make a mess. And I don't want to make a mess right now. I want to talk about Vile Crematory. Because Vile Crematory, legit, like... I knew Caligari, like, has been killing it lately. Like, everything they've sent me this year has been, like, holy shit. And, like, I know they have one of my favorite projects, uh, new release coming out, the uh, Scolopendia. I think that's how you pronounce it. I, again, but, like, they're one of my, like, favorite Caligari acts. I have their one release on tape. I just have to... It's over there, I know that. It's in my, like, Caligari stack that I listen to a lot. But, um... Uh, thanks again to Caligari Records for making today's video possible, though. But, seriously, grotesqueries... Wow. I'm just glancing around for the demo, just because I know it's over there, so I apologize. If you see my, my eyes, because I'm seeing, like, right where it should be. But, yeah, I don't want to make a tape avalanche right now. I want to talk about how fucking good this is. It's pretty much a riffarama. If you're a fan of death metal, this is death metal, and I've said this plenty of times in the past, and a lot of people, you're just being biased. No, this is death metal for fans of fucking trend-free, heavy-as-fuck death metal. Now, I can't spin kick anybody to this, and that's fine, because it's death metal. Now, it's fun when death metal adds hardcore elements, but Grotesqueries are a death metal band. So, staying in their lane, for one, thank you. For two, wow, because I was talking to somebody, and they used a word, and I don't know if they were just fucking with me, because we always kind of joke about this. Hold on. And it's from... And after I got a copyright... I, I got a copyright notice on that Frogmas live stream for... I'm not even... Uh, for just saying those Guns N' Roses lyrics. When I'm testing the microphone, watch the live video, and you'll notice I just say, like, two lines from a song from Appetite of Destruction. And I got, legit, I got a copyright, like, thing. Not a strike, but, like, your video, like, I, I, like, I have no control over the ad. So, like, I'll be in the middle of, like, I made, I was like, all right, I'm going to film a live video, and I'm going to practice, like, because I, I have a show coming up where I have double duty. I have, first, I, I technically have triple duty, because Frogmas is doing a split set, half ambient, half noise. So, I'm going to be fucking busy, and I'm, I'm kind of stressing. The only thing I'm stressing is, I don't, I, I just want this place to be packed. It's in Ardmore, Pennsylvania, right outside Philly. If you take, if you live in Philly, just take the SEPTA to the Ardmore stop, and it's legit right next to the train station. Easy peasy shit. It's one of the easy like for when Frozen Soul first went on tour, that was their Philly show. It was at the Nail and Ardmore with uh not Vomit Force, uh Steel Bearing Hands, um 
I'm drawing a blank. But like it was a good show. It was for like it was my birthday. And uh yeah, it was just it was just a good show. Uh hail to Chad just for making my birthday not really be a bummer. Like my I always have I always I hate birthdays. It's just one of those things. But back to grotesqueries. I apologize. Now the artwork alone to me was utterly finished. And I don't know why, it just and I love the green pro tape. Caligari again, like did such a fantastic job with the layout. Everything is just clean yet filthy. And I know uh, everything's filthy. Well, no. This is really like an artistic vision that was brought to light. And sonically, it's just something that, again, I I'm trying to figure out, is it an EP or is it a full length? I should have, wait, you know what? We're going to cheat. I'm sorry. I have to. It's going to legit, I'm pretty sure this is a full length. Second recording by Boston Death Metal Quintet Grotesqueries out now on cassette and CD. Folks, I did not know that. So, uh, a lot of this will be in the uh, video description, but like, Vile, uh, uh, Vile Crematory gets it done fast and sticky. A sludgy effect is applied to the primary tones and that vocal echo. Yeah. Put you right in the bottom of a putridarium as some vile rot drips over your head. Easily surviving multiple listens, putting you in a foul mood and ruining everybody's day. Vile Crematory is your fast-paced ride ticket to becoming gross ooze of a mortal. Metal Injection. I guarantee... Whatever you think this sounds like, based on everything you know, you're right. It's gross. And, like, with tracks like Corpse Juice, Dismembered Fears, Meet You with Chain, Gorified, The Ageless, Malignancy, and I love the little nod to Demi Lich. You, you use the parentheses and give it kind of two titles. I've done it multiple times. But, like, these seven tracks are just so fucking good. Let me just make sure. Okay, we're still in stock. Eight fifty for the cassette. twelve fifty for the CD. Or you can get uh, the combo for 18 bucks. That's a good deal, too. Caligari does not fuck around. But uh, here's what I'm honestly looking for real quick. Um, so all guitar solos written by uh, Brendan O'Hare and Connor Thompson. And guitar solo on Madness Bree written by Chris Lemmy. Or Lemmy. But um, this was mastered by Magnus Lindbergh. Again, I know that name. Recorded and mixed by Chris Lemmy during the months of March and April 2023. Album layout and design by Brendan Coughlin. Now, I really want to get a hold of this dude. Because, well, this this person because just I, I absolutely I don't know. It just to it speaks to me. It's what I personally like when I think of just death metal. Like that's is kind of honestly like and like even like like that promo photo with hell yeah like it's not reinventing the wheel and that's what the charm is that's what i love about grotesqueries it's just pretty much like and you might be like but wait they just did a tour with like flesh rot they're super popular and you know that is such a fitting tour. Like, they're both very similar. Now, I know Flesh Rot had 
has more of a hardcore, like, vibe, kind of. And, uh, I don't know if that's just because of the Lubbock scene back in the, back in, like, the day a little bit. I just know a little bit about it. Like, Lubbock, Texas. Um, just from BMX and stuff and knowing some people that, like, live around Abilene and stuff. And, uh, they always would talk about, like, the Lubbock, uh, music scene. And I think a place called, like, the Pool Hall. Again, I, I could be dead wrong here on the name of the venue, but going up from Boston, you know, you, you have, like, Worcester, so you have, like, Ralph's and stuff. There's a lot of sick venues up there, and, like, for a long time, uh, I always forget that Grotesqueries are an American death metal band. I always feel like they're from Canada, but they're not. New England death metal supremacy right here on Caligari Records. But I really do think, like, touring with Flesh Rot, and I forget who else was on the tour, but it's, to me, like, when it comes to modern death metal, Flesh Rot do it extremely well again like I, I'm sorry I just don't feel I should I'm sorry just because the guys in flesh rot have always been cool and I really feel like an asshole for not making it to the show but of course where the hell's the LP in the bar room Oh my. I apologize, folks. Galvanizer. Fuck my life. Where the hell are you? Ugh, that's annoying shit. I hate when I, I do this. And I know this happens a lot. I apologize. I think it's down there because I was listening to it. But yeah, I have the flesh right here. It is. So I, I'm sorry, folks. Unburied Corpse, the vinyl version. The last order from MSUO, sadly. But hails to Brad Moore. I, I love this cover. And yes, this is the same album. I have all the flesh rot shit. Like I love the promo. I, I love the demo. Like I I'm a flesh rot nerd, so I'm kinda pissed I did not go to see them live. Like Also, this has seven tracks. So hell yeah. Like that's to me like it, that's probably why I, I, I really like this record, and it's one of those albums that really grew on me. Because, like, at first I was like, ah, like, it sounds like hardcore kids playing death metal. Like, it's kind of what I expected based off the demos and the kick-ass promo tape. But the whole album's just extremely well done, and like I said, I just feel like it's a great combination putting Flesh Rot and Grotesqueries together on tour, and I hope it was a success, like, a successful tour. Just because it's, it's legit, it's rough out there. Shit's so expensive, like, I can't imagine, like, having a full tour right now. I'd be stressing so goddamn hard. Like, I have no problem being uncomfortable, but you know, when you're in a band and stuff, you have to worry about everybody else as well. Like, not everybody wants to sleep in a hammock, you know? Like, but if you're in a band, you can't be staying at, bread, at bed and breakfast unless you're, like, you know, making, like, real money and you're an established band. Otherwise, you're sleeping at friends' houses, promoters' houses on the floor, in the car, 
in the venue's parking lot. Like, whatever. To me, it was whatever didn't cost money. So it was normally just camping out or staying at the promoter's house in advance. Like, it, especially if it was a far drive or if we were doing, like, a mini tour. And it's like, all right, we have a show in Delaware, but then the next show's in the Poconos. So, like, you have to make this decision where it's like, all right, well, this is really out of the way, but let's do the two and a half hour drive to Delaware. Like, at, like I'm talking, like, bottom of the state Delaware, down by, like, fucking, like, West Virginia, pretty much, like, all, like, all the way down there. Drove back up, and we just crashed at my house. And then as soon as we woke up in the morning, we drove straight to the Poconos, got to the venue and stuff, because I guess like a three and a half hour drive to where the show was. And we get there and stuff, and uh, we're sitting around for a little bit, and we're noticing, like, hey, like, where is everybody? And all of a sudden, like, about like 45, 50 people show up, and I'm looking for the kid that booked us, and I'm asking around, I'm like, I'm, I'm not going to say the kid's, even, I'm not even going to say his first name, but it was Christopher, I, I just remember, Christopher, and Christopher had an emergency. Now, this has happened to us before, so we were a little, like, what type of emergency? Like, well, his dad's in the hospital, and we were like, oh, like, that's a bummer, okay. Like, that sucks. And, uh, we went back to our merch table, and we were like, all right, like, we'll just wait for the other bands to show up. Because we were a little early. So we're sitting there waiting, and waiting, and waiting, and it's like getting to the point where there's about a hundred people now, and not one band has even set drums up, except for us, to backline. Because we told them, hey, can we play third? Like, just... We're coming from out of town. It's a four band show. Put us on third. Didn't happen like that. So we're back at the merch table and it's getting like, you guys want to just play now? Like, and my drummer, and I kind of wish I would have listened to him, was like, dude, fuck that. No. Like, dude, no. I guarantee as soon as we get done playing, this place fills up. And I'm like, I don't know, man. Like, the promoter's not here. Like, I say, fuck it. Like, let, let's just play. Like, like, our shit's already up there. Like, we probably look like asshole rock stars like you know waiting for another band to show up and this is like when cell phones first started when like everybody in the band had a cell phone so um and i have one of those little nokia ones and i i had it for like over like six years and um I remember as soon as we started, like, uh, the second song, three bands, the other three bands roll up together with, like, 50 extra people. And I'm like, motherfucker. Like, god damn it. Like, I should have listened. And Josh is, like, looking at me like, I told you. Told you, man. And I'm just like, alright, like, whatever. So we finish our set. And 
I'm like, and my drummer is like, dude, we need to play again. And I'm like, what? He's like, yeah. Like, that was bullshit. They made us play. There was barely anybody here. Fuck that. Like, the kid that booked the show is not even here. Who the fuck cares? So I'm kind of like, I have to, I still have a couple more nights of, of vocal duties. Like, you really want to do a double header tonight? And he's like, fuck yeah, dude. He's like, you got it. And I'm like, and I look at my guitar player and my bassist, and they're both like, if you want to, we'll do it. And I'm like, all right, so leave your drums up, take your cymbals off, and I'm going to talk to that kid. But now that kid's gone, and the kid that actually booked the show is there. And has no idea what I'm talking about when I mention, how's your father at the hospital? He's like, what are you talking about, man? And I'm like, your friend said you were at the hospital. There was a family emergency. And he was like, oh, it's... I don't know why he told you that. But um, how come you guys played? And I'm like, what do you, what do you mean? And he was like, you didn't get my messages? I'm like, no. Like, what do you, and like, I'm checking, like, everybody in my band at that point is like checking their text messages, and this kid never tried to hit us up. He was like, I, I was trying to let you know we were going to be late, and like, just to wait for us. And I was like, all right, well, can we play again? I felt like such an, like, I, you don't ask to play twice. And the kid was like, <laughs> and I'm like, nah, like, seriously, like, we drove kind of far to get here. We have to go straight to Pittsburgh after this. It's an all night drive. Like, how can we make this work? Because we have to sell some merch. And we barely had, like, like I said, it went from, like, only, like, 100 people to having, like, a bunch more that actually were, like, interested in seeing us. And, like, it fucking sucked because we ended up just kind of getting screwed. And then when it came time to get our guarantee, guess who was MIA again? Yeah, the promoter. And we ended up. Playing twice. At the end of the night, when we were getting ready to unpack, we just did a quick run through. And we got to sell, I think, around $30 worth of, I think we just like sold six $5 CDs or something. So, like, we made like $30 for gas. So, like, it was like, all right, whatever, you know. But we did all right earlier in the night, but still, like, it was like, all right, we, we need to make some money so we can eat and stuff, like, because I just have groceries for myself. Nobody else followed my instructions. So you're not eating all my peanut butter. Like, if everybody has a peanut butter sandwich, we're going to be out in a day. Like, we have, we're on the road for six days. Like, it's not that long a time, but... If you've never been on the road before and, like, scrapped it, you don't really know what I'm talking about. So, we get fucked out of our, our guarantee, which was, like, $300. So, it's like, fuck. So, car won't start. Car won't start. And then all of a sudden, I get it started, we get on the highway, and I'm breaking down every 30 minutes. I don't know what's going on, and I think it's because the car's overheating. Because it is. The car was just overheating, exploding, antifreeze, and 
We made it to State College, which is in the middle of Pennsylvania. And the state trooper pulls behind us. Um, like nobody, like nobody's got like weed. Like every everybody's clean. Everybody's clean. And cops like, hey, like what's going on? Because like we're like pulled over on the side of the road. And I'm like, we. I don't know what we're going to do. We're from outside Pennsylvania. We need to get to Pittsburgh. And from Pittsburgh, we need to get back to Philly. From Philly, we need to maybe switch cars before driving to Connecticut and then New Hampshire. And we ended up taking the station wagon, the entire mini tour. And I drove my car with the heat on all that summer until I finally got a new van and stuff. But it was the most simple solution to a gnarly problem. All we had to do was drive with the heater on, which in turn melted my macabre Sinister Slaughter tape into the tape deck. Because in the summertime, it got so hot that it just melted the plastic inside of the actual car's tape deck. So, like, Macabre Sinister Slaughter was just stuck in the tape deck. It was pretty fucking sick. But, anyways, I'm just letting you folks know, like, if you're in a band... And, like, it's one of your first tours with other people that might not be as experienced as yourself with, like, living on the road. Just keep in mind everything that can go wrong probably will go wrong at some point during your little run. But that's why you need to just listen to... Vile Crematory by Grotesqueries on Caligari Records, or I'm just going to talk all fucking day. Death Metal, for fans of Death Metal hailing from New England, thank you to Caligari Records, and thank you to Grotesqueries for making such a killer slab of summertime, filthy, slime-riddled fun. Like, I hope my pool turns into ooze. But, in all reality, seriously, listen to grotesqueries. Bang your head because I can't physically do it. But, one of my favorite releases so far this year. Hands fucking down. Grotesqueries, Vile Crematory on Caligari Records. Thanks again for watching, you fucking rules. Hails. Mm-hmm.